Well, you couldn't have helped me. Do you know what? Fine. Watch yourself. Um, enjoying the weather? Yeah, I'm working on my turn. Thought I'd catch some rays. I mean, you won't get much of a tan with all that that kit on. Just, just, just saying. Um, not that I want to get your kit off. Uh, let's just move on, shall we? Uh, who are you? Name's Morgan. Mm -hmm. I'm in the security business. Um, what's the camouflage for? Makes me feel one with nature. Ugh. The security business. I'm a gun for hire. Oh. The fine people in that plane back there have paid for my protection, so don't go causing any trouble. Good. That's all. Um, I need to get inside that plane. Tough luck. My nautical employers are holding up in there until it's safe to come out. And since I need to be here to make sure no harm befalls them, I can't exactly go around smashing up Marlow's nests, can I? Okay. See ya. So, I have to go and destroy a bunch of nests. How many nests are there? My God. Okay. Um. Well, I'll 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 do it, but just so you know, I I want to get in the 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 plane. Um. After where where where's this nest? Is it down there? Churchill. Hey. Well, we have to go and destroy some nests, puppy dog. Which, quite frankly, seems a little unfair. But do you know what? Whatever. Good God. So down. Oh. Okay, it was the. It was okay. It was part of the building that just creaking away. I imagine that water is incredibly radioactive. So we um, will avoid it like the like the plague. Okay. Yep. 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 Can I out? All right, all right, all right, all right. I wasn't expecting that. What a stupid thing. Oh my god. Um, actually. Soft shell mitten lurk. Oh, so it's like a soft shell thing. Can we, can we like... Um, I might need to just up my... Have a little, have a little snacky poos. Yeah, a little squirrel on a stick will probably do. Um... Oh, puppy dog. Goodness me. There you go. Oh god, it's coming back. Ow. God bless it. What? Okay. Do we have to, like, hit the underside of it, you suppose? Maybe? That's the soft bit. Although the shell's supposed to be soft, isn't it? Is it? There we are. Are you all right, Churchill? Ugh. Okay, so it's like a mound like this. Ugh. It's kind of stinky. <sighs> oh, there's so many of them. This is going to be a long day, Churchill. I feel it in my bones, my dear. Oh! Rotherhithe. Okay, so the whole of Rotherhithe appears to be essentially underwater. Winston's toys, hey! Um, if I... Um, hmm. Okay, rads, lovely. Okay, more rads, even worse. Sardines terminal. Morgan's terminal. Be the best. Okay. Day one. I can't believe I'm writing this, but I've decided to desert the army. It's not because I'm scared or a coward, but because I've discovered that my unit has been committing war crimes and covering them up. I can't be a part of this anymore. I joined the army to serve my country, not to be part of something so evil. <gasps> Wow, okay. Day two. I'm scared, but I know what I'm doing is the right thing. I overheard some of my fellow soldiers talking about how they've been 
sexually assaulting women in the towns we've been occupying. They don't care that these women are innocent civilians. They just see them as objects to be used for their own pleasure. I can't be a part of this. I reported it to my commanding officer, but he just laughed it off and told me to keep my mouth shut. <gasps> Awful. Day five. I'm still trying to find a way out. I'm terrified of being caught, but I know I can't stay in this unit any longer. I've also discovered that my unit has been forcing civilians to work for us, threatening them with summary execution if they refuse. It's like we're no better than the enemy we're fighting against. I can't believe I can't live with myself if I continue to be part of this. Wow. Day 11. I've made the decision to desert. I can't continue to be a part of something so evil. I know the risks, but I have to do what's right. I've heard stories of other soldiers being caught and executed for desertion, but I have to take that chance. I can't keep fighting for a cause that I no longer believe in. Day 14. I'm on the run now. I managed to sneak out of the camp without being noticed, but I know they'll be looking for me. I have to keep moving and stay hidden. I'm scared, but I know I'm doing the right thing. I just hope I can make it to safety. I know I can't go home. The place doesn't even exist anymore. It's the reason why I signed up in the first place. All I have is what is with me and this terminal. Why did I steal the terminal? I don't know. It seemed like a smart idea at the time. I have no idea what I'm doing. I was going to say, what a thing to carry around with you. Good grief. Day 20. I made it to safety. I'm in a refugee camp now, surrounded by people who would have been also been affected by the war. It's not much, but it's better than being in that unit. I still have nightmares about what I saw and what I was part of, but I know I made the right decision. I just hope that one day justice will be served for the war crimes that were committed by my unit. Wow. Wow. I mean, that's pretty awful, isn't it? Ugh, fish heads. Okay, well, never mind. We're supposed to be finding Maya Lurks, are we not? Um... Alright, wretches, get out! Give me those eggs. All the eggs. Alright. Well, that was easier than I thought it would be. Where's the next one? Oh! Potatoes. Lovely. Most useful. Anything in here? Washer, dryer. Tickets, a straw, a mattress to sleep on, even a straw bed. Hmm. Oh. Apparently, there's one. Oh, one round this corner. Stimpack. Oh, God, this is narrow. Ah, there we go. Oh! Okay, this way. Can I, um, hmm. Yep. the eggs. All the eggs. Good grief. Bloody things. All right. So there's one this way. That's fine. Is this like a little town or something? It says Anarchy Times. Another one. The London Dungeon. Permanently gain better prices when buying from a vendor. Hey, marvellous. All right. So... Dems even. You are my pride and joy. Okay, hello. Um, didn't realise there was anybody here, but do you know what? That's fine. Um, just excuse me, madam. I'm going to deal with some Maya looks for you. Yep. Alright, come on then. Let's have you.
Ugh. Gross little creatures. Okay, I'm carrying too much. I wonder if she'd buy the Maya Lake eggs off me. Radex, hey. Okay, liquid nitrogen dispenser. Probably not massively useful to us. Hopefully the ferryman will get us some mitten lurk eggs. Well, I have good news. <laughs> They're delicious. Where the where the where are you? Oh you're there. Hello. Sandy Shore. Can I hello? <sighs> Anything catch your eye. Well, let's see what you've got. Take a look. Farewell. Hmm. Oddly wouldn't buy the mitten lurk eggs despite wanting them. Well, do you know what? I'll have them. Okay, so there's one more in this direction. Let's find it. And kill it. Around this corner. Hello? Aha. Well, come on then. Ow! What? Get out. What? There. Okay, well. We did his little task for him. Ooh! Soft shell meat. Yes, definitely. Famished steak. I mean, not sure about having that, but okay. Grilled rad roach. Ground rad shrew. Mutt chops. Rad rat steak. Ooh. Okay. Uh, soup. No soup. Utility. That's concerning. That is greatly concerning. Ugh. Beverage. Dirty Wastelander. Um, no, I don't think so. So, can we not do anything with the... With, oh, baked bloat fry. Of course we can. Can we not do anything with the eggs? Mitten lurk egg omelette. Oh, we need dirty water. Really? What would you need dirty water in an omelette for? That's kind of gross. Well, all right. That's that's kind of helped us a little. Well, I suppose we'd better go and speak to that lovely gentleman, had we not? My God, Mr. Handy Fuel. Fuel, can we go in here? No. All right. Oh, this is where we were before. Okay, well, I'll wend my way over then. And we'll have a little chat. How did I do this? I... Hmm. All right. Morgan. Watch yourself. Um... What? I thought... See ya. Can I now speak to him because I've taken care of the mitten lurks in here? The Mary Ellis. Oh. Hello. Jordan. Thames folk, yes. Churchill, just. Horace. So, is he... Is he... Down here somewhere? Let's just. Well, that's bright. Good. Oh, hello. Y'all just like hiding out down here? Is that that Nothing kind of like the a idea? Swimming our Thames to make you feel alive. No, true, true, very true. Tea kettle. I mean, feel free to put the uh, put the kettle on. You know, always appreciate a cup of tea. And thus far, not many people have offered us a brew. In fact, nobody has Watch actually. Where you're going. Can I just, 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 thank you. Uh, Tesco shopping bag, I'd rather not. Okay, well, I'll go and find, um, Archie then. Is Do he in here? smell that? It's the Thames calling to us. Sure it is. Fire and brimstone. What? Feels almost biblical. Archie? Oh, you're Archie. Okay, um. Hello, what Archie. Done? 
Those people needed some hope. Who are you, anyway? Um, well... Yeah, Rachel says hello. Um, she's sorry things didn't work out. Well, no, I'm Ava. I'm Ava. And I'm Archie. I haven't seen you around here before. Rachel says hello, and uh, she's sorry things didn't work out. Not her fault. She's not like the others. Kicked me out of Thameshaven, they did. Oh dear. Couldn't stand a human living with them. That's a bit mean. Um, so, who are you exactly? I'm Archie. Scavenger by trade. The best locksmith in London. Oh. Um, and what are you doing here? Hiding out. People have it in it for me, see? Especially the Isle of Dogs. Yeah. All I did was trespass. And theft. Then a bunch of lunatics ambushed my crew. The whole city's mad. Sounds okay too bad, though. Well, um... Been in any underground laboratories lately? So that's why you're here. Yeah, I know one. Barely managed to escape, though. Would have been dragged back there, too. If it weren't for the ferryman. You don't work for the lab, do you? No, I woke up in one of those labs and I have no idea who I am. Apart from that my name is Ava and that goop ruined my hair. Bruh. I guess you want to hear the whole story. Ideally. Um, sure. I was on a supply run near the Thames. There were six of us. One more than usual. We brought this ghoul along. Lazarus. He was supposed to be an expert. Said he knew the location of underground bunkers. Had all these construction papers. Right for the taking, he promised. Turns out they aren't as abandoned as he let on. We were searching for the entrance when they ambushed. They used some kind of gas. Everything went dark. Later on, I woke up in a cell with that girl. We managed to pick the lock and escape. But we couldn't help the others. No. Oh. The scientists were too busy to notice us. I nabbed a guard's keys and we walked right out the entrance. Oh, well done you. The guards noticed, though. Chased me all the way to the Thames. Luckily, the ferryman was about to make a crossing. Saved my life. Um. Who was it that captured you? I don't know. But they were bloody strong. When was it? A month ago. Wow. I'd say. Maybe two. Do you still have the keys? Nah. I think the ferryman has them. Ugh. Where is the entrance to the lab? Why? You aren't going there, are you? Well... I need to find out who I am, you know. That's fair. I'd probably want to go too if I was you. The thing is, we never actually made it to the entrance. Lazarus was being cryptic. Probably thought we were trying to con him out of his share. Oh. I don't think we were close to the entrance when they got us. Everything after that just blends into one bad dream. Ugh. I remember when we escaped, climbing up a ladder. It was dark out. I could barely see my own shoes. I climbed over some rubble, I think. They were chasing me, so I ran through the streets. I had no idea where I was going, so I just kept running. That's when I found the ferryman. Huh. What happened to the ghoul? Yeah, what happened to him? We got separated. Ran in different directions. Yeah. Can you remember anything else? Not really. It was dark and I was running for my life. And the gas. Hmm. I only get confused when I try to remember that night. If you went back there, could you retrace your steps? Maybe. It's been so long. If it means finding my friends, I... I'm willing to give it a go. I'd need the ferryman to take me back across, though. I don't fancy my chances on Tower Bridge or in the foot tunnels. No. Here, you can give this back to the ferryman. He gave it to me so I could defend myself. My hands barely fit around the grip. <laughs> Tell him thanks. 
but my weapon of choice is the bobby pin. Ferryman's friend. Okay, this weapon emits an odd smell. A smell that isn't just that of gunmetal. Well, I mean... Okay. Why not? So I have to go back to the ferryman. Um, I'm going to take your, your, your tickets, kid, just because, you know... Wait a minute, what? You can play the flight recording? Oh dear. Oh fuck it, everything's went dark. The human feed from the atomic blast has crippled our systems. I can barely keep this hunk of junk airborne. I repeat, Captain Drew Mitchell. Drew Mitchell. Number 25871. We've got Drew free. We're still back. We're over to our allergy from dropping fast. If anyone's out there, please respond. Request emergency landing permission at Figgin Airport. Good God. Oh God. Blimey, that's a lot of people. And that was it. Damn. They went down. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Okay. We go out either way, oh, no. Sorry about that, human. Uh no problem. Come on, Churchill. Well, what a beautiful day. Look at this, Churchill. Marvellous. Well Thank you for all your complete and utter lack of help. I'm sure somebody will pay it forward at some point. Right, we need to um go and find the ferryman. I wonder if he did say he would have the key, didn't he? Hmm. Uh, assumedly, we we we're going to find out exactly where we've come from. Where did they get us from? And who exactly we are, which would be quite good to know, I think. Um. Okay, Churchill. Oh, gods, be careful. We don't want to um, end up in this awful stuff. The drink, as it's known. Because quite frankly, it seems like a horrible, a horrible um, type of drink. Good God. Okay. Let's go. So, it's this way. There we go. What? what did, was there anything else in here? I don't think there was, was there? No. Okay, Churchill. Let's... Can I... Thank you. Oh, what the hell is that? Rotherhithe Docks. Some kind of... Something dead. Ugh. Kind of gross. Um, I don't think we're going to get across this way, uh, Churchill. Just thinking outside the box, my dear. Good grief. There's, what? There's loads of these things. What the hell? What? What is it? Some kind of weird dolphin? Okay. Oh. Well, why not? Do you suppose... No. It might be worth getting onto it, but we might not get off it. Ham radio? Oh. Thought we might have been able to get something out of that, Churchill. 
message notes something <sighs> okay we need to get to Thames Haven which is in itself going to be an interesting ad adventure what the look at that Tower Bridge the London Eye A once great city, you know. Turn to ruins. Well, never mind. I suppose we'll uh, we'll just have to make our way to Thames Haven and um, hope for the best. All right, the ferryman. So this is your. Ferry? Um What a private property, no oh, trespass. Surface world. Gets louder and louder each day. Well hello, sir. Good to see your friendly face. Um have you recovered? Not entirely. But I'm sick of that infirmary. No, I need to get out on the open sea. Feel the wind on my face. Well, then I'll get better. Okay, I get that. Um, Archie says you can have this gun back. The boy's stubborn. If he's going to survive in this city, he needs every advantage he can get. He'll need to pick up a gun sooner or later. Mm -hmm. You can have it. It's not much. But it's reliable. Well, well, thank you. That's that's very kind. Um, I need you to take Archie back across the Thames. I have no objections. Truthfully, it would be good for my conscience. There are places north of the Thames where a boy could live a normal life. Oh. The sanctuary at St. Paul's would take him. Well, so if he wants Although to go. I'm not sure why you need him to cross. Um... Why would it be good for your conscience? Whether I like it or not. The boy became my responsibility when he jumped onto my boat. And it seems I've taken him to one bad place after another. Oh. If I could find some good people to take care of him, I can wash my hands of this ordeal. Well, I'm trying to find the lab that he escaped from, and I need you to take him to the dock where you found him so he can retrace his steps. That makes sense. I'll take him back there, but I'll need your help. Well, that's While okay. I was lying in my sick bed. A group of hooligans marched into Bermondsey and shut the gate. Oh. Getting through won't be easy, but it's the only route out onto the Thames. Okay, um... Why did they take over Bermondsey? I suspect they're using it as a staging ground for raids. Bold of them to set up shops so close to a Tommy outpost. Okay, well, I suppose that's kind of true. Uh, how hard can it be to open the gate? Getting through the gate should be easy. It's sailing through Hooligan territory that puts us one foot in the grave. Oh. You'll need to provide us cover fire while I get us out of there. Hmm. The button that opens it is a bomb that grows nest. You can reach the button by lowering the crane. The way up is via a makeshift bridge by the riverfront. Be careful. Oh. I see. <sighs> Yet more errands, Churchill. I'm going to stick a sign on my back that says deliveries now will be chargeable 